And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Braum Anivia. We're kicking it old school with Braum Anivia. This is a donation deck, so this is a viewer submitted deck that looks like we're uh, got a real big top end. Three Ruination, three Vengeance. We even got a couple of Harrowing to bring back the Anivias. So going big and old school. Um, no Call of the Mountain cards in here, as you can tell. So uh, if, you know, if you don't have any Call of the Mountain cards quite yet, this could be a deck for you. Do have one copy of the box? Not my favorite, but we'll see if we're able to do anything cool with it. Um, but yeah, basically we're just going to... This is kind of like an, an anti-aggro deck with us getting these early blockers with Hapless Aristocrat and Averroes and Century and Vile Feast making a Spiderling. So we get like the early blockers. We have some Nexus Healing with, with Kindly Tavern Keeper. And then we have uh, Braum Challenge and Anivia Attack. Have those help control the board. And then just use a lot of little sweepers with Avalanche, the box, Withering Whale, um, also Ruination, uh, Rekindler, bringing back our champions. You know, just good anti-aggro deck here. Got even more Nexus healing with Withering Whale and Grass the Undying. So we're hoping to face some aggro decks. The, uh, the big decks with like a whole bunch of... Um, Invoke. That's probably going to be pro you know that like that's going to be problematic because they're going to invoke for all like those cards that obliterate and if they're like obliterating our champions that that's not going to be great for us. But we don't so we don't want to see that. We want to see aggro decks. We want to see Noxus, Bilgewater, those regions. Okay, this is an aggro deck. It's a burn deck. Discard burn, and they their deck goes wide. Our deck should hopefully stop decks going wide um maybe i keep grasp i guess i keep it yeah all right so we're gonna keep this hand all right we're gonna try out the box again not my favorite card but we're gonna be trying it out we're gonna see if we can do anything cool with it the thing you know the box does three damage grass the undying does three damage three damage is an important number because draven has three health and jinx has three health And if they if they just play like Draven here, I'm gonna just lead with the box. Our Nexus is still at 20, so we don't need to like drain it yet. Um. I guess that kind of seems like a good time to play Kindly Tavern Keeper. So we just <laughs> just counter that uh, that get excited. And get a 3 3 in play. Avalanche. Pass turn. Rules are made to be broken. Like this. Her people. Alright, we'll take that. Four mana removal spell for a Jinx. Not bad. Not too shabby. So, so far so good, but we don't really have our champions. Also, I should just be glimpsed beyond the hapless aristocrat. You know, just make a spider, the spider and the spiderling would die anyway. The party has arrived. Alright, fast turn. And learn. Block and sacrifice, don't give them another spinning axe. Where's our champions at? Not there. Let's take this outside. So we have we have 10 sweepers in this deck. Hey Dark Dragon. 25% of our deck are sweepers. That's pretty awesome. Counting what Withering Whale, Avalanche, the box, Ruination. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings. Or people. You should try blinking sometime. Um Kind of want to combine Avalanche and Withering Whale together. Let's do this. Oh, I did this the wrong way. Now we're cooking. But I wanted to see if they could empty their hand. 
did the wrong way, but oh well. Okay, so they were able to empty their hands. So they'll draw two, but now Withering Whale will definitely kill both of these things. You have to do those in the wrong order. Smart. I'm not expecting them to be able to save their units from Withering Whale, so I think we should still be fine. But I could just have a spider. That was a Draven. They just discarded. Guess I might as well wait till attacks with that. I could just play another unit that would die to this. And plus, you never know, maybe they'll just cast the Super Mega Death Rocket right now. Yeah, that was a Draven's Whirling Death. So two Dravens down and, and two Jinxes down. Ooh, good card. Good card. Hey, a champion! Champion. Ancient stirs. For my homeland, rend the skies. I probably should have passed and not attacked. No, attacking worked out. Yep, GG's. We still just have so much. We're still at 20. That was a great hand for us. All right. Good Nightfall deck. It's usually an aggro deck. They're pretty aggressive. So I like our chances here as well. And we'll just keep all these. We'll just keep all these. I'm not... I could see mulliganing the, the Tavern Keepers also. But Tavern Keeper is probably just fine. Definitely keeping Vile Peace and Avalanche. Forced us to choose death or the blade. It's our time. And I would like to be casting Avalanche first before File Feast. Uh, what do they got? Resident Guardian. So Pill Cascade could be a whole bunch of damage. So hope it not Pill Cascade, but I do have twelve. Nexus healing in hand, so even if they did have Pell Cascade and have a whole bunch of damage, I mean, I got <laughs> 12 Nexus healing, so probably still fine anyway. Alright. We will pass turn. I'll still pass turn. So we're just kind of looking for our champions to show up again. Prime sub. Nexant. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for our brand new sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A new moon rises. And descends on feeble I really appreciate that. Alright, so that's our second sub of the day. Unseen, unheard, the new All right, so I'll put both of those things down to one health, which is good for Withering Whale. Forgive me. And yeah, less. Um, 
less things attacking as far as Nocturne goes for leveling up as well. Braum! Alright, so if I play Braum, I don't get to cast Withering Whale this turn. That's fine. How can Braum help? Tell the one about your door again. Next turn, I will have double Withering Whale available. And Pale Cascade, you know, I don't want to challenge the 3 6 and have Pale Cascade kill my Braum. Could play Hapless Aristocrat now. Oh. This is annoying. So obviously I want to Glimpse Beyond, but if I Glimpse Beyond, I don't have double Withering Whale. And I think I'd rather have double Withering Whale. I can play the Aristocrat and still have double Withering Whale. But this should level up. All right, GG's. That'll do. Victory is friends we made along the way. It sure is, Brom. Noxus, Noxus. Well, is he red? Yeah. All right, we get to see some red. All right, so far 2-0 against Agro. We'll see if we can keep it going. Now, both... Okay, I was going to also say both hands were very good where we kept everything in both hands. Um, the middle two I'm mulliganing. The box... I'm think about the box. Could keep the box. The box matches up fairly well against, like, Petty Officer. And even Misfortune. Using that to kill Misfortune is not bad either. Okay. I think this is going to be a lot closer game than our first two. With how our hand looks and also how my opponent's hand has looked so far. It's a good draw. So they go right to combat, I can kill Vile Feast. Good draw. And then I'm going to pass. So I'm expecting Petty Officer or Misfortune. Okay, neither. And I basically just want the box to do something good. <laughs> so I'm... That's kind of what I'm, I'm doing here. With the pass last turn, and now with the ta Tavern Keeper over Braum. Alright, I'll take down those two drops. It does seem like they have Noxion Fervor. For... Alright, so we're at 11. Down to three cards. I should attack with my 1 1 Spiderling. Yeah, the one one should be attacking right there. Dead men tell my well, that was the worst case scenario. Rum is on the job. Alert the kitchen. We'll need more food. I'll show him pain. Let's talk about your dad. This kind of awkward having all just all these top end cards or having too much top end. Too much top end. Let's show our friends this door. Ha! This is fun, yes? I liked it better when we had like all of our withering whales and everything like that. Alright, so unfortunately uh, the gangplank leveling up means that Avalanche doesn't kill Gangplank anymore. Welcome to the 
<clears throat> Alright, so we're going to save this two spell mana. Could be very important. Darn. Really hoping they played something else before attacking. Gosh, just down to two. It looks like this game's over. Need them to play something else. And then I ruination. Even though I do think this is a pretty good matchup, this kind of shows the problem with having 9-drop, nine 9-drop, nine 7-drop, seven 7-drop, drop, 6-drop. Six Sometimes you just draw all those and lose. So nothing's... nothing's 100%. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Nothing's 100%. Alright, hopefully we play against the same matchup again. Even if, like, any of those five top-end cards we drew, if any of them were Vengeance, even, that would have been a lot different. Sweet. Playing against more burn. Okay. Got Very nice. We got Vile Feast, Withering Will, Grass the Undying. Like it. So if I play Avaros and Sentry on two, then I won't have Withering Whale for turn three. And from what it's looking like over here, I think I just want to play Withering Whale on turn three. Yeah, I think I just want to play Withering Whale this turn. All right, good call on the Withering Wheel. I'll make life easier. Oh, it is a great day for a is it the boosters? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I could, that was definitely a juicy wheel. I don't want to. Don't want to kind of seem like a jerk or anything. You know, I don't want to. emote with a, a backbreaking card like that. But yeah, that was definitely a very juicy Withering Whale. Alright, we'll have Grasp for Draven. That was good. That was a good rummage. Spinning Axe and Flame Chompers. I should probably be doing this during combat, because they could just play a new Draven. My beautiful face. But if they do okay. The if they do have a new if they do have a different Draven, if I wait to combat, then they can use that as whirling death. Which is also problematic. Really doing this. Yeah, great, great hand though. Like they they could come back. They could still win this. Look at all this damage they're doing. They're doing 13 damage this turn. This game is not over. All right, where are we up? Round five. Seven. Yeah, Arena Battlecaster has really cool voice lines. <laughs> oh no, really, Diva for The last time you played against Arena Battlecaster, they played it and it said it's time for a reckoning, and then you cast Reckoning and just wiped their board. Do they need our help? I don't know if they need our help. They're they're just kind of sitting there. Maybe they do need our help. All right.
I really hope no Jinx. Another Draven. It's easier to just vengeance the Draven and, you know, no big deal. Don't want to see a Jinx. We're kind of thinking this is maybe get excited. They're maybe thinking about whether to get excited Braum or get excited my Nexus. Raven down. That's what. I, that's my guess. My guess is this card is get excited. And there it is. Alright, Braum down. Didn't quite have leveled up Braum. to four. Almost dead. Good draw. I'll help keep me alive. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Definitely the card I wanted to see the least. This is not good. <clears throat> Please don't be a fast spell. It's a fastball I lose. Darn. Man, GG's. They fought through a lot. That was very impressive. Very impressive. Two and two now. Of course we are still friends. Alright, and aggro again. Okay, good. Get rid of that, get rid of this. I have not liked these Glimpse Beyonds. I guess, you know, they're for a different matchup, but... We've never had time to play Glimpse Beyond. They've just been dead cards in hand. It hasn't looked like anything we've ever wanted or needed. Maybe Glimpse Beyond was like Unspeakable Horror. Where it's still generating one card. But then it's like something that we could play. Alright, Avaros and Sentries. You can see the Nebastian border from here. See, like, supposedly this would be the time that I'd play Glimpse Beyond, but I I think I just need to save mana. So I don't think I can actually play the card. It makes more sense just to do it like this and just block and keep that alive. Should slow him down a little bit. Okay, very good. <clears throat> yeah, that's the thing, I suppose. 
Please don't have Gangplank. Attack the winner. That's not necessarily better. What will you have? A bag of your warmest milk, my friend. Alright, I'm gonna keep the spell mana. Make sure that we have Vengeance available this turn. If there is a Gangplank, we're definitely gonna need Vengeance. Um, I will pass. Let's talk about your dad. Help is on the way. So this does allow them to play their sleep with the fishes pretty safely. Wow, brother's bond. That was not a card I was expecting. We're still okay. We're at 11. We got Withering Will, Grass the Undying. Yeah, we should be just fine. Let's take this outside. Feel me in. Blue? Good. That's big. Alright, save three spell mana or play Avarosen Sentry. Probably save three spell mana. Yep. You never know, we may need a double Withering Whale. Alright, yeah. GG's. So we did lose two games to aggro. I don't love that. Um, yeah, I don't love that we lost two games to aggro. Yeah, didn't like the didn't like glimpse beyond. Even though I, I understand that you know it's for different for a different matchup. The three three Ronation, two harrowing. This is probably just too heavy. Like grass the undying was awesome. I wouldn't mind another one of those. I wouldn't mind some unspeakable horrors. Also. Because um, I, I want this to have, you know, I would want this this kind of deck to have a really, really good win rate against um, the burn, you know, against aggro decks. And we were we were three and two, you know, 60 percent, but I'd much rather that be like a four and one. Uh, one of our one of our losses, we just had a really poor hand and, and just drew 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 very poorly of drawing all this top end, but no, no vengeance. Like vengeance probably would have won us that first game that we lost being able to kill the gangplank um but you know we just had ruination harrowing rekindler and and uh and nevia and you just had all those cards and just couldn't couldn't really play those cards and we lost that one and then the other game the one that i definitely thought that we were going to win after the withering will they had an awesome hand and just kind of kept kept going <clears throat> you know had like that that second drave and then that jinx at the perfect time and yeah they, even with the the jinx gave them um two fast speed spells that was one i didn't think we we're going to lose but they just had um the exact cards they needed um yeah three withering whale felt great withering whale was definitely one of our very best cards um and i kind of wanted three grasp the undying in here too um so yeah i would i would probably drop drop a harrowing and a ruination and get a couple unspeakable horrors in here where they can create the nightfall cards for us sometimes sometimes you'll high roll and hit lunari priestess and then lunari priestess can get you like even more stuff like i think unspeakable horror is pretty awesome um i would probably do that and then if we want to drop a glimpse like you know so glimpse is going to help out in other matchups but i'll get another grass the like grass the undying looked amazing also, I probably want that actually. So I think, I think for sure, a third grasp and one unspeakable horror over those two cards. And then here you can you can keep three grasp. You can play two unspeakable. You could, um, you know, for like this last card, you you could play you know three grasp or two unspeakable. Could go to three hapless aristocrats if you want. Um, 
could be playing a miss call. I wouldn't really mind even a third rekindler or or some like this other stuff that like ends the game faster, like a Commander Ledros or a Rasa. Yeah, you know, like I I just I just don't know about two harrowings. That seems kind of heavy on on harrowing. I'm I'm not sold on double harrowing. I guess I would probably just keep it. I guess I would probably just keep the third glimpse beyond for different matchups because this should just even help out your burn matchup even more, getting another unspeakable horror and another grasp. So I would probably just keep the third glimpse. Um, yeah, harrowing's a good finisher. Uh, what about the box? I don't love it, but it was it was fine. Basically, use this as like a one for one removal spell against uh, the three and four mana champions, like your Draven, your Jinx, your Misfortune, that kind of stuff. It was fine. It did it did just fine. I could also definitely see cutting the Fury of the North. If you want if you want like another Rekindler, if you want to keep two harrowing or a third ruination. If you if you want like that kind of stuff, you could definitely cut a Fury cut the Fury of the North. Alright, so there we go. That's Brahm Anivia. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.